Trapezoidal approximation method. Objective Venice lets you should be able to understand how to use trapezoidal trapezoids to approximate the areas of curve. Sketch trapezoid approximation over a given interval. Use a formula to find approx given a function or a table of value, and so on. So the key point of trapezoid approximation to is area of a trapezoid, right? So again, remember our area of a trapezoid it's right here. Area is one half height times base one plus base two. We have a trapezoid. The bases are the parallel sides, and the height is the right angle thing. So here's my height. So base one base two. Add those up times by height times by one half. So the idea here is we're trying to approximate the area of the curve, right? So here's our our curve. This thing right there, I'm gonna shade in yellow, orange. I know my colors. So there's our curve, and we want to find we're trying to approximate that somehow. So we're gonna use a trapezoid approximation. So this is a trapezoid approximation. You draw little trapezoids in between your points. You find the area of these trapezoids, and you're a rough estimation of the area. Like that's the idea. So you like you find a curve, you break into trapezoids, you add them up, and you get essentially like to not be the greatest approximation, but a good, really good approximation. And the more the more trapezoids you make, the smaller you make it, the better the approximation it gets. So the form is right here or right here. So we'll see right there. So the integral, remember that this means the area of the curve from A to B of the function is just one half height, and then these are just kind of the bases. I personally, honestly, don't use this formula. What I do use is this, and we'll talk about this. This is how you find the intervals. We'll do that. We'll just do an example to get you, to get you started here. So, example, approximate the area of the curve f of x, square root of x, on 1 to 5 using four trapezoids. So a couple of things, right? So we're going to try to approximate the area of this curve from 1 to 5, so from here to here. They want four trapezoids. So how do you figure out what, like, how to start my kind of trapezoids? That's what we use this for. h is b minus a over n. It tells you what the height is. So all we're going to do is this. Same thing here. This is, this is the form you see more if you do calculus, like AP calculus. This is more of an IB thing. So the height of each of these trapezoids is going to be the intervals, B minus A, so 5 minus 1, over how many trapezoids you want. We want 4 trapezoids, so put that over 4. So I get 4 over 4, which is 1. So the height of my trapezoid is going to be 1. So what that means is you're going to start at 1, and you're going to go 1 over. Then you draw your other line. And that's your trapezoid, like that. And we keep on going. So we have three. Try one for four. And then we can go all the way up to five. So that's been my trapezoidal approximation right there. So all we got to do to approximate the area from one to five of this thing here is add the trapezoids, each of these four trapezoids. And that's been our approximation of the area of the curve from one to five. So don't forget our trapezoid formula, right? The area of a trapezoid is one half, half height base one plus base two. So here's the thing, right? That's our height. Our height is this guy. So one, 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 one. So these guys are gonna be our heights. So one, 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 in this case, it's always gonna be one. Our bases, our base one, base two, now that changes, base one, Let's say we're doing this trapezoid here. This would be on base one. This would be on base two. All right, and we're gonna do that for every single one of them. So what I do is really I just find the area of each trapezoid separately. So let's do trapezoid one right here. Right. So trapezoid one is one half height base one plus base two. So my height is one. I know that. What are my bases? Well, it's the height of it's how big is this guy? So how do you find that? You plug one into the formula square root of one. So my height here is going to be square root of one, which is one. For base two right here, my height's going to be plug in two to that, so square root of two. So I get one plus square root of two. That's my, that's the area of this trapezoid here, right? Area of this trapezoid is just one half the height, which is one, base one plus base two. Here are my bases. So this is my base one, which is one. It's my base two, which is that one. So that's it for one. And then I'm going to do the same thing and add, it, add it in for the next one. So trapezoid 2 here. Right? So I'm going to do 1 half. Height, which I know is 1. Base 1 plus base 2. So I'm going to leave this blank for now. Base 1 plus base 2. So my bases here are rad 2, which I have already. Right? Because that's the height of this guy. And then this one will be the height of 3, which is square root of 3. This right here, by the way, is going to be square root of 4, which is just 2. And then the last one will be square root of 5. Right, so those are my my bases. So for this one, my height is my base was base one is right two, base two is right three.
And then that one's done. That's the area of this trapezoid. Let's move on to the next one. So this one here, it's right to be one half. Height, which is one, right? Height's this guy, and it's always one part in this case. Base one is this guy, base two is this guy. So right three plus two. And that's the area of this one. And then we do one more, this guy right there. So I'm gonna go plus one half, one, and then I get two plus square root of five. Because right, two is the height of this guy, or square root of five is the height of that guy. And that's our answer. And most of the time you just leave it like this. Very rare time to actually watch you simplify. And if they do want you to simplify, all you do is plug this into your calculator. They, you do get to use a calculator on that. So just do each one separately and then add them up or do them all together. And you get some decimal and you approximate it. Or you round it, I should say. Uh, so it's a trapezoid rule. Again, this is more of what we use in AP calculus. And IB, they give you this formula in the formula sheet for AI. Again, I don't really use it. Like that's like a shorthand method. If you notice, uh, I had all, in all of them, I had a one half and I had a one. So you could factor it out. But I just use, I just find that, for me, it's just much so much easier to find the trape, area of each trapezoid. So all you have to remember is the area of a trapezoid, and then you just find the area of each trapezoid. Okay. Example. Use a trapezoidal sum to approximate the area of the curve of f of x equals x squared between 0 and 2 with four trapezoids. So in case they didn't give us a graph, you actually don't need it, but it does help to picture it. So if you want to draw a little, you can. Again, not necessary, but it does, it does help picture it. So I'm going to draw it like this. It's x squared, so I'm just going to kind of like this. Now, this is not a perfect graph of x squared. I'm just trying to make it easier for you to see. And now we're going to go, our trapezoids go from 0 to 2. We're going to go from 0 to 2 with four trapezoids. So before we do any markings, again, it's just to help us picture it. Let's figure out the height of our trapezoids, right? That's the formula that they actually give you a formula that's actually useful. It's height equals b minus a over n. The b minus a is just your limits. So 2 minus 0. And then n is just the number of trapezoids you want. We want four trapezoids. So two over four, which is one half. So they want us to go one half. We're going to start at zero. We're going to go one half, then one half, one half, one half. So I'm going to draw it here, right? So we start at zero. It's our first one. Then we're going to go half, half more, which is one, half again. You could put one and one half, but honestly, in calculus, we like the proper fraction. So we'll go three over two, and then we're going to go one more half, so two. So that's going to be our trapezoid from here to here. Again, I like to draw it, so let's draw it. Here is there. Here's my trapezoid. And don't forget, this is x squared. So since we're here, let's figure out what the height is of these guys. All right, so this guy here, we started at zero. So that's, if you want to figure out like what point this is, which is what we're going to plug into our, our trapezoidal formula, which I almost forgot. All right, the key thing to doing a trapezoid is don't forget the trapezoid formula. One half, height, base one plus base two. In this case, we already have the height. Height's one half in this case, right? We just found it. So only thing that's going to change is base one, base two. How do you find base one, base two? Remember, that's these lines, right? If I make these trapezoids and connect them, these are my bases. So my base at one half, my base at zero, my base at one, my base at three halves, my base at two. Those are your bases. So let's find them out right now. Remember the way you find your base, you just plug it into the formula, x squared. So for zero, let me change the color here. My, my base is going to be zero because you just plug zero into zero, and zero into zero squared, and you get zero. One half, the height of this guy, which is the base, just plug into the equation, one half squared is one fourth. One, again, plug it into the equation, x squared, one squared is one. Three halves, plug it in, squared, this is why we like improper fractions, three halves squared, you just square both of them, you get nine over four. And then two squared is four. So those are my bases, that's, that's what I'm going to pull this out with. Remember the way I like to do it? Just find each trapezoid one by one. So let's do it one at a time. So we'll start with the trapezoid one, right? So for this trapezoid, the formula is one half. Height, which we know is one half, right? That's how long this is, from zero to one half is one half. That's my height. Then what are my two bases? It's this guy and this guy. So zero plus one fourth. And that's trapezoid one. If you want, again, you can simplify if you want. You get like, what, it's one sixteenth? We just leave it and move on to the next one. So now trapezoid two, right? Let's put down the formula. Here's my trapezoid formula. One half, the height, which is also one half. Base one plus base two. Base one for trapezoid two is this guy, one fourth. And base two is this guy, one. So one fourth plus one. And again, done with that trapezoid, right? That's trapezoid two done. Move on to the next one, trapezoid three. So that's one half, right, normal formula. Height is one half for all of these. 
base one for trapezoid three is this guy and this guy, right? These are, that's like, those are my bases. So from one to nine over four. So one plus nine over four. And then the last one here, trapezoid four, it's gonna be one half times height, which is also one half. Base one plus base two, right? Base one for four is, for trapezoid four is nine fourths, and we're gonna all the way to four, right? That's my trapezoid here, that guy. So we're going from nine fourths all the way to four. And that's your answer again, right? You can put in your calculator if you want to simplify it, or you can leave it like that. Either way is fine. So one last one. Now this one's without a formula, right? They say f of x, there's no graph, there's no formula. All they give you is a table. And this is actually what IB tends to like the most. And honestly, I kind of like it the most, my favorite also. So how are we gonna do this? Well, same thing. They want us to use six trapezoids from zero to 18. So that's the key for me, right? You have to find the height. Height is b minus a over n. So my, I'm going from 18 to zero over six. So 18 over six is three. So that's what the height of our trapezoid should be three. They should be like three length, right? They should go over three. That makes sense in a second. And also don't forget our error trapezoid is one half um, height base one plus base two. So we're just gonna make six of those, right? Six trapezoids, all with the height of three. So in this form here, my height's always gonna be three. Okay, let's make them. So here's our x's, that's gonna be our height. So we go from zero to three. So my first trapezoid is right here from zero to that guy. And I'll just kind of make a little trapezoid for myself. Kind of like that, just so I can see it. What's the area of this trapezoid? Area of that trapezoid is going to be one half, right, times the height, which is three, which you can see from here to here. Right, that's why it's three. And then base one plus base two. Base one is this guy, base two is this guy. These are going to be your bases. Remember, your bases are always just the heights, right? That's what's going on here. Bases, these guys. Right, even when we did this, right? It was always just what the height is. The trapezoid is kind of like sideways when we do it, so it's, that's why it's the f of x. Not, that's why we call it a base instead of a height, because our height is just how far it is. But these are just your bases, so 2 plus 5. And boom, that trapezoid is done. And we move on to the next one. Now again, now we start from 0 to 3, right? So we're now going to go from 3 to 6. So I'm going to do the exact same thing from here to here. Make my little trapezoid. Right, this is my height, so 1 half, my height 3. And then base one plus base two are just these two, five and three. Right, and I gotta keep on doing this all the way down until I, I get my six. So it's a little time consuming, we'll need to do six. Luckily, don't do six all the time. Next one, so we're going from six to nine, right? Because we're only supposed to go this into three. Something like this. Now, again, that's mostly just an aesthetic thing I like to see. So one half the height, which is three, and then base one and base two. Remember, we're using the y values, not the b values. b values should be separated by three, y values should be anything. So we're going from three to five. Okay, I keep on going. So the next one will be from here to here. All right, so I'm gonna, so I'm running out of space, I'm gonna go down here. One half, my height is always gonna be three, in this case, and we're going from five to seven. So base is five to seven. And then let me run the colors, plus, we already did that one, so we're on to this one. Like that, like this, right? Again, this is three part, so one half, height is three, base one, base two, seven plus two. And then we have one more, right? We have five trapezoids, I need a total of six is what they wanted, so I'm gonna do my last one right here. So we're gonna go from this to this, that is three. So plus one half, three, base one plus base two. And there you go. Again, if you want, you can add them all up and simplify, or you can put them in your calculator. But that's how you find the area of a trapezoid. Or that's how you approximate the area of the curve using a trapezoid. Right? Because that's all we're doing. We're just trying to find, we're trying to approximate the area of the curve using trapezoids. And that's the lesson.